Hello and welcome to another tutorial on how to make a game in Game Maker. So in this tutorial we're going to go over uh, making like or drawing a little text on the top left corner of the screen uh, for the man's health. So we're just gonna go into our uh, object control class and just put like draw health and it's pretty much the same thing as the as uh, the ammo. We're just going to draw text uh, at zero, except we want this uh, 16 pixels down from where the this text is, because this is at zero, zero. So we just want this 16 pixels down. So I'm just going to um, put a string here. Oops. And this is going to be the object man's HP plus just a slash. And then we want another string object man dot max or HP max I think HP max okay that should do it just gonna double check that those are the actual variables okay HP max okay good okay so now when we go ahead and run it we should see the amount of health on the top left corner Man, it's long it takes a long time to load. So as you can see, we have 100 out of 100. So that's our health right there. So right now, it says zombies are damaging me and my health is going down. So that's exactly what we want. Okay, good. Okay, so now next thing we want to go over is for the camera to follow the player. So to do this, we actually, since the whole screen is the size of the room right now, uh, I'm just going to make it bigger. So I'm just going to make it 2,000 by 2000 so our room is pretty big now okay so now I'm going to go ahead and go to our views tab and press enable the use of views and visible when views start when room starts and then oh yeah oops this is supposed to be at no object so right where it says object following and press this little menu button and then just select the object you want the camera to follow which is our object man Okay, good. Now, uh, these little numbers right here, this is basically the borders of where uh, the, this object has to move for the screen to move. So if it goes, so this right now basically says, if he's 32 pixels away from the edge of the screen, it's going, the screen is going to move. So I'm just going to change that to some high numbers so the screen will move wherever the player is, wherever the man is. So. Let's go ahead and save that play. Running for it to load. Okay. As you can see, uh, the screen now follows, follows the player unless you go into the edge where the screen can't go anywhere because it's uh, that's the only room size. So, as you can see, our screen moves the player. So, see, look, our, our game's looking more like a game, but there's actually one pr problem. You see, our text it stays at the top left hand screen, but doesn't follow the screen. So we actually should fix this right now. Okay. So there's actually built in variables for uh, the view height and stuff like that. So let's go into our uh, control object and type in view view. Uh, let's see. Yeah, view y x and y y port, I think. Okay, so yeah, so actually, it's not a uh, view y port or x port. It's a uh, view x view, and you can just get rid of all those numbers right there, and just do the same thing for the other one. Just add view y port on this one, and we're just gonna add these for the for the health uh, drawing method too so just copy these paste them into the drawing health arguments and just save it and play and when you move the screen around uh, the text should follow okay come on load okay so as you can see I'm moving and the text is still staying on the top left hand corner of the screen. Okay, that's perfect.
That's exactly what we want. Okay, so actually. Okay, so actually, I went ahead and I made a new sprite. Uh, I just name it Sprite Box. And if we actually go inside of it, uh, it's just an animation of a box slowly breaking down. So I made uh, five images. And here, let's actually make the object. Uh, select our Sprite Box, name it Object Box. And what this box will do is basically be, act as a barrier between the zombies and you, which you can rebuild. So right now we're just going to have them uh, just al allow you to take damage, allow them to take damage. So I'm just going to make an HP max equals, let's say, uh, 20. Then HP equals H HP max. Okay, good. And then another thing we want to do is image speed equals zero and this what this will basically do at default it's equal to one and it can go between numbers zero and one uh, and that's percent of the speed how that that's the percent basically on how fast the animation will play so we want to set that to zero so it won't play an animation because uh, we don't want the box continually just breaking down and then rebuilding itself so uh, here I'll show you what that's for in a minute. So I'm going to put a step event in here. I'm just going to say if HP is smaller than or equal to zero, uh, instance destroy. Okay, simple enough. Now I'm going to make another variable called damage per picture. Picture, and this will equal. Uh, let's see, the H HP max divided by the image number. So what this this basically is, is it's finding how much damage it divides uh, its HP by the number of pictures. So here I'll show you what we're gonna do that do for that in a moment. Uh, actually, let's create a for loop. I equals zero. I has to be smaller than, let's see, what do you want? Uh, image, image number plus two, and then I plus plus. Uh, I guess we can't do that, plus equals one. Okay, so now to create our if statement. So what's going to go in here is basically say, is HP smaller than HP max minus, minus damage per pick times I. You may be thinking, what the heck d d does this do? Well, or you might not, but I'm going to explain it anyways. So this is almost just like the die method, or the die is statement we just made. So. But instead, this is asking, is the HP less than the maximum amount of HP you can have minus the damage per picture times the current image number it's looping through? So what that basically is, remember damage per pic picture is basically uh, just a ratio of the image number to HP max. And we multiply that by the number it's looping through. So we're just gonna so this is gonna loop through all the image the number or amount of images we have in that animation so it's gonna do it for like all of them so like the lower the lower the health is the higher the amount of the picture it will be so we're just gonna say the image index equals i after that so actually we're running out of time so basically this sets the image number to this right here actually why is this to 2? just set that to 1 so that's that's basically the short of it actually we have to set this to 2 so actually we're running out of time so I'm going to end it here and we're going to continue this in the next tutorial so thank you for watching I appreciate the rating and see you in the next tutorial thank you